Well, I hit an issue the other day. I needed to fill the pond and I left the hose on the entire night. That's what we were filling up. And it overflowed this entire patio, which then soaked into the ground all around the pool and started to lift the liner of the pool. So luckily this pool, when it was installed, they had put drain tiling around the entire foundation all the way at the very bottom, which is where this pipe runs. So that runs down into the stone, into drain tiling, and I'm able to pump all of the water out, all the groundwater around the pool. Um, and it's actually very clean water, so I'm just putting it right back into the pool for now because the pool was low as well. So thankfully, um, can't really tell, but the, the liners lifted off of the pool slightly. But we're getting all that water. It's already more than halfway done at this point. Um, this did actually happen to me once before, but not by my mistake. It was actually done uh, from after raining for about a week straight. All the groundwater here just basically filled up completely. So, um, and I came out and I saw the liner had lifted and I was really nervous. I called the uh, previous homeowner and asked them if they had ever had this problem. And they said, yeah, it actually is common, but only if, you know, if it rains really, really hard for a long time. And he told me about the location of this uh, this pipe here in the ground. So that's been a lifesaver. Um, the only other way would be to, I mean, let time take its course. But we have a ton of clay around here. Uh, and the water just does not seep in the ground well. So um, this, luckily, um, this pipe's here. Without that, um, I'd be a little more nervous. But uh, all's going well. And I think we'll be back able to swim in a few hours here.